hi friends uh, in this video i will discuss about the quantitative aptitude section of rbi grade vdr and as i have written this section i am uh, exclusively focusing for the candidates who are average in quant so let's start first we will see the cutoff of the quantitative section for last 4 years in 2015 the cutoff was 7.5 and the total marks in quantitative section is 30 and uh, there are 30 questions so out of 30 7.5 was the cutoff for general candidates in 2015 2016 and 2018 which is around 25% for obc it was 6 and scst and pwd it was 5.25 now in 2017 if you see the cutoff for general was only 4 and for obc it was 2.5 and for others sest and opwd it was 2 only after seeing this cutoff you can uh, find out that uh, how tough this question paper is and uh, getting 4 marks out of uh, 30 question is not a difficult task or oh, getting 7.5 out of uh, 30 marks is not a difficult task but it is your aptitude and how do you do it that gets you this 7.5 marks and i have seen various candidates who are very good in other sections and they could not clear grade b because of uh, the quantitative sections and the quantitative section, although it needs practice, you need to have good practice to clear the quantitative section. But I'll say that 75% of the chance of clearing the quantitative section depends on how you attempt it, what strategy you adopt. If you have the correct strategy, even with the uh, average knowledge of quantitative aptitude, you can clear the quantitative section so friends uh, uh, with this cutoff section keeping in mind uh, i'll just go through and uh, my objective is that you should also focus that uh, at least you have to get uh, 10 marks in the quantitative section your aim should be 10 marks Then how you will get that 10 marks that I'll tell you and how you can get more than 10 that I'll also tell you. That whatever kind of the paper it will be, you should be in a position to get at least 10 marks. And that strategy I will tell you that how you can get 10 marks. If you will watch this video till end, uh, I'm damn sure that nobody can ever fail you in the quantitative section. First see which are the different topics they are asking questions from in great video uh, some prominent topics I have taken there are other topics also which they are taking some years and they do not take in other years so number series which is their favorite then probability permutation combination time and work mixtures time distance and speed data interpretation puzzles so these are the some of the sections which are prominently asked in quantitative section of uh, grade video so you can select uh, any of these topics for depending upon your uh, choice of the subject so after selecting this i'll suggest uh, two books one is quantitative aptitude by arun sharma and other is quantitative aptitude by rs agrawal you can buy these books from amazon or flipkart or from the nearest bookstores now how to attempt the quant section this is where our strategy starts now you will see that there are sections online papers if you have given that you have the different sections that you have to attempt once you will go reach the quantitative section or if you want to attempt it first uh, you can select it 
and then once you will reach to the quantitative section it will have a number of questions so please keep this point in in, in your notebook in your mind that first see the entire quantitative section with fast forward click and note down the easy questions in 30 questions generally they give around 10 to 12 questions which are very easy 10 to 12 questions which are very easy but because we do not follow this point we do we do not get good marks so what you have to see you have to see all the 30 questions which hardly take three to four minutes if you can screen out all the 30 questions at least in five minutes that's all right that will save you enough time generally people waste around one hour in quantitative section and then they do are not able to do other sections also even if they can uh, get uh, around 15 60 marks 16 marks in quantitative sections but they are not able to solve the uh, reasoning section or uh, english section so what you have to do you have to first spend five minutes in screening the all the 30 questions and then write it down in your paper that which are the easiest question you write easy moderate and difficult questions so under easy questions say you find that question number five is easy then under the easy point you write 5 and if you find that question number 7 is moderate then you write 7 then after 10 suppose 10 number question is also easy then you write under the easy that this 10 number question is easy in that way you will have around 10 to 12 questions which you will find that those questions are easy to attempt then after screening all the 30 questions try to attempt first those 30 those 12 15 questions that you will be able to do in hardly 10 minutes that will take hardly 10 minutes now in 15 minutes time you have attempted 12 questions in quantitative section which is more than enough if your accuracy is good this is more than enough to clear the quantitative section so within 15 minutes you are able to do the quantitative section i will see it in more detail also so let's go now D, do the easy questions first don't force yourself on the highly calculative questions this is the trick or the trap i would rather say in which the examiner want to capture the candidates so what candidates do they fall prey to the highly qualitative quant calculative questions which appears very easy but when you do them they are very difficult and after wasting around five to six minutes in a question you'll find that you don't know the answer your answers are not correct so don't try to force yourself on those highly quality calculative questions then try to attempt at least 10 12 to 15 questions which we say these questions will be easy but still i say that the accuracy will be 85 percent if you have the accuracy rate at 85 percent in 12 to 15 questions that is more than enough don't try to do the wrong questions if you don't know the answer if you are not able to write find the answer don't attempt it it will fetch you negative marks then if you are sure sure that you can solve other questions then jump on them otherwise attempt other sections and rather I would suggest that after doing 15 questions you should leave the quantitative section if you are an average candidate try to grab more marks in general awareness English and logical reasoning then after completing other section if you get time to solve leftover questions in quant then do it suppose you have 15 minutes time after attempting the other three sections then you can go to the quantitative section and try to do one or two questions but then you then from the note sheet which i told you in the first point easy moderate and difficult now after doing the easy questions you try to jump on the moderate questions or the questions which you were able to find the answer but you could not try to answer those questions first and then still if you have time and you are lucky try to do those 
hard or difficult questions. Now, how to prepare for quant? Find the easy topics. As I told, the topics which are prominently asked in grade B, you select some topics from those and then try to solve the easy topics first. Then practice at least 100 to 150 questions in each topic you select. This should be the minimum 100 to 150 questions. If you do more, that will be better. Practice questions related to topics online by searching them in Google. And don't just forget that these 100 and 150 questions are not more if even if you practice, even if you know everything, but you are not able to clear the quantitative section, you will not be able to become grade B. You know everything in the earth, on the earth, but you have to clear the quantitative sections. And which has been very difficult for last, at least last five to six years, I'm hearing from the candidates that this section is very difficult and I told you the strategy in my previous slide that how you have to do prepare this quantitative section you have to follow that, that strategy and practice 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 in the quantitative section that is the only mantra to prepare for quant then challenge your friends to give you questions on the topics challenge them that I have cleared this topic this particular topic now you give me questions and I'll solve them and you also give the questions to your friends they will solve it with this way you will be able to uh, do more and more questions that is typical questions that you should not attempt I have just selected and as I told you that many of the candidates they will fail fall prey to this question they will find that this is very easy questions because we have been doing it since Fix the standard so we will find that this is very easy questions and without uh, knowing the consequences we jump to answer this question once you have started doing it you your ego will come in between and your ego will say that you cannot leave this question and I am damn sure that you will waste at least 15 to 20 minutes the question is Ram has invested 1 lakh 50 one lakh fifty six thousand four hundred thirty nine rupees for six months at thirteen point five percent per annum. What will be the maturity amount after six months? This is simple compound interest question. But generally, what we do, we try to answer these kind of questions and. You will find that these kind, of, these type of questions are very much, but you will have to solve the entire question to find the answer because the options are very nearer. Once the options are very nearer, you have to solve the entire questions. We takes a lot of time, which we do not, we, so we cannot afford to waste in an examination where lakhs of candidates are attempting with you. So you have to be very sure. So these kind of questions you should not attempt. So that's all friend for the quantitative section and I hope that you will follow the strategy given in the video. If you will follow the strategy given in the video, I'm damn sure that you will be able to clear the quantitative section and I'm sure that you will be preparing for other sections also so nobody can stop you from becoming a great BDR officer. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video, please like, give your valuable feedback, subscribe and comment. And uh, I'm sure that after appearing for the exam, you will come back and give me your valuable feedback that my strategy was very helpful for you. Thanks for watching. You can watch more videos related to great media on my channel, Prisha Academy. Thanks for watching.